Suppose there is one disease which is spurt in one area. The army of people of this health uh, sector, they will not only uh, uh, what you can say make our country safe, but they will go there also and they will contain that zone. So the disease will be contained in that zone only. For Ebola virus, we were successful in containing that Ebola virus to Kerala only. That too few people only got affected and to African countries only. So we need this army as usual. That is what Corona has taught us. What Corona else has taught that mental health is very important. So come to that again. So, and in health, I have told you, everybody is very important in health. It's not the doctors and not only paramedics or nurses. What was the, my topic was affordable health care. I, I also am with affordable care, but I am strong, I strongly believe that health sector services should be costly. That is very important. That should be costly. It has to be costly. Why? I tell you. I have worked in charitable trust. My uh, total life, you can say, as I am working in charitable trust. Only. But if you say the how many hospital management colleges are there in Mumbai, and how many hotel management con colleges are there in Mumbai? How many people you met who are working in hotel management and they will say proudly that I am doing course in hotel management. And how many people you met who said proudly that I am in hospital management. What is more important, hotel or hospital? Everybody will say hospital is more important. But Nobody wants to work there. Why? Because if you do hospital management, the salary is very less. If you do hotel management, you get a good sum, amount, and some amount. So nobody, IT people, they will not like to work in health sector because it is not rewarding. As far as financial conditions, I don't say emotionally it rewards more, but financially it doesn't reward. So many people will not like to join. Only doctors are there and paramedics do not want to be there. But if they don't have alternative, they are working there. And the number is not increasing. So if we want a good team to be there, Continuously working. Voluntarily you can work. I shall ask everybody of you that you don't get any pay and still you do voluntary work for the rest of your life. How many of you will come? All that is said on the stages about all that voluntary and NGO and uh, trust, that is fine. I do agree. But the services must be costly. But in addition to that, I shall say, it should be not only affordable, but the next thing, it should be free to the people. So the question is not that it should be affordable, it should be less costly, it should be costly, but who will pay for the services is the question. So let us frame the question very seriously. Let us frame it that we do not want to reduce the cost of health services because those people who are working, they should get good pay, salary. But who will pay them is more important. Government, the insurance companies, government insurance companies or who else? NGOs or the charitable people or the, from the companies, whatever may be there. But the question should be, who will pay for this, not the patients. So if we derive this, then only it is possible the growth of health sector. Otherwise it is not possible. We want everything free 
and if i ask you to work free nobody will be able to work and the health system will collapse and that is happening we are not aware because we are used to all this we are used to all this so that is very important that we have to make it affordable or free by by inventing a source of financial whatever matter the government semi governments corporations uh, corporate sectors or uh, ngos or whatever may be there but it should be free or affordable to the patient that is also important so both the sentences both the things are very important it should be very costly as well as it should be paid by somebody else so that it becomes affordable or free to the patient and most important is what we forget what the corona has taught us is prevention prevention is very important that corona has taught us that you wash your hands wear your mask and then uh, don't do and shake or don't touch anybody and don't you don't spit or something because mask is there and that also will spread while cupping you should cover so all that was there so that was all for prevention from getting infection prevention from getting affected by corona so prevention is very important that has been taught which is which we forget what is i shall share my one experience also for that once uh, i go to the camps uh, frequently and actually to start with i used to go to the camps nearly daily one of the interior of uh, the tribal area i went and uh, it was um, say nearly 25 30 houses were there of course uh, huts i can say and uh, when the vehicle went inside they ran away because they were uh, they usually think that it is a vehicle of a police person so they ran away and then afterwards we had one dubashi or what you call a language interpreter because we couldn't understand the language so when i went inside uh, uh, then we operated and so we became familiar to each other but i told ask them how do you if you, you are away from the taluka or the village also and you are interior inside the forest if somebody gets diarrhea so what will happen where do you go for your treatment he said uh, we have one white there in our community he treats the disease then i my question being a doctor being an eye specialist the question was how much the weight they will get when he treats you he said um, we uh, do not pay him in the money but we give him all the people in the will uh, the this go to let call it uh, they will pay the grains in the grains they will give rice or they will give uh, whatever the other grains the land gave him and other things so they will give grains for the year from each house okay but i my question was still i thought he couldn't understand so i make i repeated the questions what what he will get once you get the diarrhea then if you go there and you will treat him he will treat you then uh, what that way they will get now how many how many kilos of grain or a rice he said no no uh, if i get a disease if i get diarrhea for that year i sh- from my house he will not get the grains he will not get anything as far as what they is concerned he will not get no grains from my family no grains from my house for that year could you get it that what is the duty of that vaidya the duty of the vaidya is that he has to keep everybody healthy that is very important we forget all this so today everybody enjoys more or gets the reward if 
in the health sector if people are not healthy if people has a disease doctors cataract then doctors like me are very happy because i shall get the operate i shall get operated he will be patient will be happy because dr mathne has operated and he gave me good vision so paramedics will be happy hospitals will be happy corporate sector will be happy and not only that medicine uh, manufacturers will be happy because if you get ill all the medical uh, sector people are happy this shouldn't be the only thing we need a equally strong community or equally strong investment as far as human power is concerned and financial power is concerned for prevention of diseases that is very important and the corona has taught us that prevention is very important we shouldn't forget this and prevention we have to work on it and how it can be prevented we do not give importance to those who are working in prevention no doctor there is a preventive and social medicine subject for us but no doctor will like to work in that because he doesn't get emotional satisfaction as well as uh, financial also so we have to identify how these people will get benefited second another thing which is very important which the corona has taught is about i told you mental health mental health i told you in definition also it is part but we always forget we always think health and physical health we never think about mental health what is the most important thing which is required for the human being at the end you will say i need money i need that people should say that you are a good professor you are a good teacher uh, i need uh, money of course but ultimately good teachers give you a good feeling money gives you good feeling that you will be able to purchase whatever you feel like if you have more money the things are in your control to get more things and that will give you pleasure or whatever happiness so what is ultimate thing which everybody needs is happiness or feeling of well being inside for that we work throughout our life for that we do everything in our life so that we should feel good i thought once that okay uh, i went uh, with my wife for a movie i i don't like movie to a great extent but uh, i went with so i am uh, i have done for her that uh, i went with her for the movie no i have done for myself that i shall feel good if she feels good i shall also feel good so i have done that so ultimately everything revolves around i shall feel i should feel good so that is what is important and that is mental health happiness is an emotion which is very important and that is the goal of everybody's life and still if i say my son is in 12th and he says that i want to be a doctor okay that is good then you will have to study and appear for it he will say okay okay and then he doesn't do studies and doesn't i shall ask him why are you not study i say okay fine i want to be doctor but i don't want to i do not like to study and i do not like to appear for all those exam i hate those exams i hate study i don't want to say but i want to be a doctor you everybody will laugh what is this funny i everybody wants to be happy but every, nobody wants to read about how to be happy everybody wants that but nobody wants to study how to be happy that child my my son chinme is similar to me i am also doing the same thing so mental health is very important what everybody should know about it because everybody's goal is that and that corona has taught us what was that that happiness is very important so emotion what was the most important thing which was there in mental health 
uncertainty uncertainty what will happen will i get corona if i get corona will i survive if i get corona will my family members will also get the corona if my son or daughter gets the corona will they survive uncertainty so how to deal with uncertainty that was the thing which is a part of mental health many people you must have seen because of fear they died because of fear they committed suicide so we shouldn't forget what corona has taught us it's a good teacher but we have to be good student also to learn from that so mental health happiness is there but what was the for corona it was uncertainty how to tackle uncertainty